everybody in here. There is a huge storm going on outside, and I mean, it's like thunder and lightning and wind. I'm afraid a tree's going to fall on my tiny house. But I didn't even know the electricity had gone out, because I don't have any electricity, until I went out on my porch and saw that all of the security lights from all my neighbors' houses are off. All of their lights are off. And uh, me, uh, I got my solar. So we got a tornado watch. I don't know. I don't know what it's going to be like. I heard the sirens a little bit ago, and I thought maybe it was a mistake, but nope, there's a tornado watch. So, phew, it's crazy outside right now. Right before it started raining really super hard, I went out and checked, yes, in the rain, my hair is all wet, uh, the water catchment system, and the wind was starting to blow, so I adjusted the um, trash can a little bit, pulled it back a little bit. Um, so hopefully, hopefully I'll get some lots and lots of water, but I got in just in time, and then it was like a power shower, a sheet of rain started coming, oh my goodness, okay, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and close my windows and uh, check back with you later. Okay, this weather is absolutely insane, at least I know Mr. Lucas is okay across the street, I saw him kind of like going back and forth in front of his window with a flashlight on. So, he's a tough old dude, man. I just love going over and having chats with him, but this weather is starting to scare me a little bit. Just a little. I made it through the night, yes, and yeah, the electricity went out, didn't affect me at all. A few neighbors had some trees that got knocked over, but nothing happened on my property, and my rain barrel was full. But it was full with, um, there was a bunch of like, I think it's pollen or something, just like this powdery stuff, kind of greenish yellowish, coats everything. I have to keep washing off my um, solar panels. So that got down into the barrel a little bit. Um, so I think that I'm going to try a suggestion that a commenter left and get a t-shirt and put it over the barrel and see if that can kind of filter out some of those finer product, uh, finer things, whatever. But anyhow, so I'm in the city working today, and you know what? This whole social distancing, you know, isolation thing is really working well for door dashers because, I mean, I think, I think the U.S. oil prices are down to like $20 a barrel, so gas is cheaper. There's nobody on the roads. Um, well, I mean, there are people on the roads, but not a whole lot of people. And uh, the, the restaurants, there are no customers inside. And a lot of times I don't even have to get out of my car. I just go through the drive through because all of the, um, you know, restaurants are not allowing people to come in and, and eat. They'll just, you know, do carry out and whatnot. So, um, and at Chili's, I just pull into the parking lot and they bring everything out to me. So, it's been really good. Uh, I guess there are silver linings everywhere you look, so you just got to look for them. So um, I'm working for the next few days and hopefully I'll make some big bucks because I need it because I'm broke. Well, I made it home and I'm sitting out on my porch and it, God, it looks hazy. I guess it is kind of hazy outside, but there's some super good news. Guess what's sprouting? Which bed do you think it's in? Do you think it's in the little stacked planter. We already know what's in the tomato planter. Or in one of the other garden beds. Well, uh, the suspense, I don't want it to kill you. So here's what's sprouting. Those two little things right there. Cucumbers. That's in the cucumber row. So yeah. No, I haven't seen any beans yet, but I will tell you that over in this area, when the rain came, it kind of disturbed the soil and I saw one bean right in this area that was coming to the surface that looked like it was starting to sprout. I pushed it back down under but I may have damaged it. I should have just covered it up. So I think the beans are trying to sprout too. And I will just tell you that little green thing that was in that uh, that area over there is gone. And I really just think it's grass because there's another little one that looks just like it. Oh, I'm not even going to bother trying to find it in this area and it just looks like grass to me. So, I don't know. I don't think the uh, the spinach is going to sprout. So, I don't know. I just may transplant some of the extra seedlings from there over to there 
or I might just get some chard and plant some chard down in there. But, you know, I don't know. Maybe I should give it a few more days. I'm really disappointed that the peppermint hasn't sprouted. I did just kind of take a, a few more seeds and just sprinkled them over the dirt to um, hopefully see if maybe it was just that I planted them too deep, which I probably did. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what's going on with the peppermint, but I, I gotta have my peppermint, man. But I will show you something else that I did. Remember this little spot over here where the soil looks so good because all this wood is kind of rotted down into it? Well, I planted a little peppermint. I planted some over here. I don't want that seed to grow. Planted some over here, not peppermint, um, dill. And then I planted some over in this area. And so, I don't know, it's gonna be hard to tell what's what. There looks like there's something coming up right there, but it might just be grass. I'm gonna leave it alone. Um, I haven't grown dill in a long time, so I don't really remember what it looks like coming up. So I'm going to keep watching this spot, and hopefully, 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 something will come up. I just got to show you this stick that, look at that. Look at all those spikes on it. To me, it just looked like something that was shooting out of the ground that's dead, but it is not dead. It's not dead, man. I'd hate to run into one of those. Check it out. Something is totally sprouting from the top of it. What's it gonna be? I have no idea what this is. Do any of you know what that is? And can I eat it? <laughs> and I know it's really overcast right now, but leaves are starting to come in. I can't wait to see what all these different trees look like. <sighs> This is going to be a glorious spring and summer, I hope. <laughs> I hope. Just look at how cool it looks out here. It's just getting prettier and prettier by the day. See that big log over there and this whole area in front of it? If you look up, there's plenty of space. What I was thinking is building a fire pit right in this area, just clearing all of that stuff out and um, just making this a little fire area and we can just use that as a natural seat i don't know though there's there's some stuff behind there there might be critters in it so i might want to check that out too but it's a possibility huh. there's just so many cool things i want to do with this land and it just looks so cool back in there i can't wait until i just add little things here and there it's pretty. I wanted to show you something else too. This right here, this is edible. It looks like a dandelion and it is a kind of a dandelion, I guess. But it's a cat's ear because, here, let me show you the leaves. I don't know if you can see this or not, but these leaves have little hairs on them. And if you, you can still eat them. You can definitely still eat them. Uh, so yeah, I'll be definitely throwing these in a salad. But you can tell the difference from cat ear dandelions and just regular dandelions. The cat ear dandelions have two, um, two or more flowers that will come out. And the dandelion, the true dandelion, only has one. But I will be harvesting a whole bunch of this and I'm just going to let it grow. I mean, some people try and kill it with weed killer and whatnot. Not me. I'm going to eat it. Alright, see this? They look like unassuming dandelions, right? They've got those same kind of leaves. And yes, they do have little hairs on them, but there's several that come, several flowers that come out of the middle of it. And from what, from what I've read, the true dandelions just have one flower coming out of the middle and they don't have any hairs on the leaves. Also, check this out. Look, I got clover growing. I think you can eat that too. I imagine there is a ton of edible stuff on here, but as always, I'll research everything before I start, you know, sticking it in my mouth and chewing on it. That sounded kind of dirty, didn't it? Well, it's starting to rain, so I better get inside. Let's hope the water catchment system holds up. I cleaned the tarp off and I cleaned the screens off, so let's see how much more water I'm going to get. Um, it's down to about half, um, but I've got another full bucket in the shed. So, 
hopefully I'll get some more water. I, I'm thinking I'm just dumping all that out because it's got all that pollen stuff in it. I don't know. I'm just going to let it fill up again and then I'll dump that out um, or just try to put it in some other containers or something and water the plants with it. Um, but I'm not going to have to water the plants today because it is starting to rain. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.